I believe it's Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> Don't like too much grit in the cupcakes. Present time, present time. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you had a good Boxing Day. And if you guys could give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. Feed the calves. Give them a bit of food already this morning. Yeah, a bit more. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> That's my favourite calf. We had quite a bit of rain last night. There was a storm and this here is the farm's old slurry pit which is just at the moment being landscaped by Roger who's got the digger and if you can just see down there that uh, since we've had all of this rain completely full of water now so the rain seems to have washed a lot of the muck off the top of the pile so we'll scoop all of this up and the yard's flooded loads of water around. That's a nice little job done there. We've just pushed up the muck and we'll have to come and collect the rest of this muck this week with the Richard Weston and the John Deere. Get this muck out of the yard, get it emptied and then we'll get it spread in sort of February, March time. We've got straw, the calf muck and uh, you know all the animals messing this time of the year. There's a lot of water, a lot of muck. The calves are over there, they're just looking at us this morning. We need to go and get them their concentrates but at least the yard's a bit tidier from all of that muck which came down from the muck pile last night. So keeping it tidy. We'll put the beacon on for you guys. <laughs> I know you th guys don't have to have the beacon on. Right. Thanks for all the comments about the John Deere Gator the other day and the Honda Pioneer. I think from all of the comments you guys really do want a John Deere Gator so maybe we'll have to be a John Deere Gator, we'll have to see what we can do. Just realised I've left a load of muck in the bucket, <laughs> have to shake that out. But these, are, this is the concentrates which I feed to the bigger calves around the back and uh, we've got two barley today and four nuts. We normally feed three barley but because there's not a lot of barley in the shed at the moment we're cutting down to two. Uh, there's been some interesting Christmas dinners in the comments section. <laughs> I think somebody said he had fish. There was a chap from Japan. He has, uh, I believe it's Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> whatever you, uh, whatever you want, you know. At the end of the day, it just made me laugh. Laugh, and he said Kentucky Fried Chicken. And I think another chap as well has fish for his Christmas dinner, which I did say. Some people have fish. I know in like uh, Eastern Europe and in the, in the Czech Republic block, they have fish carp for Christmas dinner. Stay in there whilst I go and grab the nuts. all of their fresh bedding so I need to put a new bale in here and we'll get rid of that muck in the bucket as well. Don't like 
too much grit in the cup to try and keep the clean. Fresh breading and food. Lovely, that's what I like to see. Lovely. Don't knock that bale around. If I just push it up there for them. Yeah, they'll play with that, so. Good job done there, are they all happy? Yeah, it's a funny sort of time this time of year. The, the space between Christmas and New Year, sort of like the lost days, really and uh, everyone sort of doesn't really know what to do with themselves but I just, you know, keep farming, keep busy. Yeah, then be glad to see rid of 2020 to be honest. Yeah, yeah, that'd be brilliant. Right. the top off there just to to make sure that the cows can just get out the bale I've got a new bay for the Manitou because we use all the bales up in here. Turn them off. Lovely job. And at the top of the farm, there's a little present for me. Present time, present time. Okay. Christmas has <laughs> come a few days late, but that's okay. Nice. The original Muck Boot Company. Wow. Thanks, Muck Boot Company. Oh, new wellies. I'll put those on right now. I mean, I've been wearing my uh, boots, which I normally wear in the summer on the farm, because my wellies broke. And uh, the muck boot company got in touch with me and said, hey, Ollie, would you like a free pair of wellies? And I said, yeah, it's funny, funny you should say that. My wellies just broken. Yeah, consequently, they've just sent me a, sent me a new pair of wellies. I really, I really appreciate these, and um, I'll definitely get some use. I can tell you that, they'll get used. New boots, just want to wear them in a bit. Oh, they're lovely. Oh, nice. They won't stay clean for long. <laughs> well, I've got to say, that has made my day. That has really made my day. So at least I can now walk in the... I'm going to go and christen them. Lovely job. Oh, wow, look at that. It's got like a anti-water rubber. I'll find out how good the boots are, the wellies from the muck boot company in the next couple of months. So we fed the calves this morning, we tidied up the muck around the yard, bedded down the calves around the back, gave them their food, scraped up, tidied up, and uh, I've just got Clover here now, and I'm going to go for a, a quick walk with that Clover, and uh, we're just going to have a look at the flood damage. <laughs> she's been eating her gravy bones, and uh, she's been getting a bit, a bit full up on them, haven't you, I think? Uh, but I, I hope you guys had a good Christmas, and I hope you enjoyed your Boxing Day. It's sort of this, like I say, it's this funny time of the year now, where it's in between Christmas, and New Year's. So we've got the New Year to look forward to. You know, there's lots going on on the farm here and in the world as well. We've got the 50 horsepower tractor coming soon, which I'm really excited about. We can put it on the tanker wrapper, the scraper, and then also as well, it can go on the Logic weed wiper. And then we've also got the brackets for the Manitou attachments are gonna be sent away, and that's gonna be done in the first week of January. So plenty of things coming, plenty of things happening, and lots to look forward to. And guys, if you could give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate that. You guys have been absolutely brilliant over the last couple of weeks with that so thanks very much keep it up and uh, i really appreciate all of your support and do you think the manatee's doing a good job on the farm at the moment 
or do you not think it's it's uh, doing a good job do you think it was a good purchase a bad purchase i'd love to know from you guys uh, leave me a comment in the comment section down below and also as well um let me know about these videos do you like these videos do you think there's something i could change i could improve and um, just let me know and uh, i'll be able to, to change it enjoy the rest of your day and i will catch you guys on